Hi, I'm Gordon Crow, creator and host of Mass Transit. This is our weekly series we call As the Crow Flies. In these episodes, I discuss a wide range of topics focusing on the Christian life from my perspective as a convert to the Catholic faith. To be alerted to when a new episode is uploaded, please click on the subscribe button. I also encourage you to share your opinions on the topics we discuss by leaving a comment in the section below. Boise, Idaho-based Salt and Light Radio is one of the hundreds of local Catholic lay organizations serving souls and sharing the beauty of the One Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church in communities and regions throughout the United States. Mass Transit accepted an invitation by Salt and Light Radio to join the Morning Light Show and host Brian Howell and Hope Ryan on June 30th of this year. We were able to share a bit about Mass Transit with Brian and Hope. Please enjoy this edited version of their program. Seven oh seven morning light continues across the Salt and Light Catholic Radio Network. It is a faithful Friday, and joining us now in the St. Gabriel Studio is Gordon Crow. Now on YouTube, you will find this channel called Mass Transit. Maybe All one you... word, which is important, because yes. otherwise you'll end up in a public transportation <laughs> kind of a thing. <laughs> That's no good. Uh, you may have read the article earlier this year in our own Idaho Catholic Register, but the host of that podcast, Mass Transit, joining us. Tell us a little bit about Mass Transit, and what was the inspiration behind it, Gordon? Well, great question. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to work for my church. And I, I wasn't raised Catholic. I was raised in Churches of Christ, and then I became Lutheran. And every place I went, I always wanted to work for my church, whatever that church was. And then... Uh, uh, when I was coming up on retirement, which, by the way, one year ago today was my last day, last day of uh, gainful employment. I wow. retired at 5 p.m. Central Time. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. Did this about a year before that, uh, we came up with the concept of mass transit. First, we came up with the notion uh, of living full time on the road out of an RV, out of our motor home. And then, uh, the and I've idea. seen it. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. It's, I've seen it, the outside. I guess. Yeah. It, uh, it, we love it. It's great. But uh, then I came up with the idea of, uh, originally the idea was to go from uh, parish to parish, uh, record uh, priests and deacons, homilists, given homilies, and then sit down with them afterwards and do a deeper dive into what they discussed. My spiritual director, uh, hearing that, he, he recommended uh, uh, that I go home and watch a bunch of YouTube videos and Facebook videos of priests and deacons giving homilies and I asked him why he said well just do it and then come back next month and we'll talk about it and I did and it, it, it didn't take more than a dozen to figure out that not all homilists are good preachers <laughs> and not all homilies yeah, warrant true. going deeper dives at the yep. end so then we kind of shifted to I just wanted to lift up the Catholic Church the new faith we had found and, and promote it and it came out the day of just showing parishes and the whole notion behind Mass Transit is to show the beauty of the Catholic Church by showing the beauty of parishioners and parishes around. And so we go in, make uh, what uh, one pastor uh, kindly called mini documentaries, and they're 15 to 25 minutes mm -hmm. long, and uh, spend three to four days or longer, depending on the size of the parish, uh, filming masses, interviewing members, interviewing clergy, and the running back to the to the MacBook Pro and Final Cut Pro X and mm -hmm. uh, spending way too much time editing things uh, uh, to a final uh, episode. And the episodes kind of write themselves. Yeah. Kind of emanates from the pastor through the membership, through the parish. And and uh, I never know where we're going to get when we start, and we are always feel like we're blessed at the end of it when we, when we get something that we put up to YouTube. Mm. We totally get that. Yeah. Or you kind of you never know yeah. what kind of where the Lord's going to lead, and then yeah. when you get there, you're like, "Wow, Lord, I couldn't have anticipated this if I yeah. tried." Thanks so much. Yeah. So, uh, tell us where you're from originally, and what brought you to Idaho. Oh well, uh, <laughs> um, I'll give God the credit for everything that's good. But uh, I was born and raised in Southern California. I first came to Idaho. Uh, you couldn't tell people that if you told people from California, you get beat up. Uh, so I told them I was from Arizona, but no, I was from Cal <laughs> Southern California, Orange County. Uh, I came up here. Uh, Welcome to freedom. <laughs> I came up here uh, in the uh, uh, 70s, uh, uh, ended up in Coeur d'Alene, and uh, just worked my way through a career that uh, ended, included this, the, the Idaho State Senate eventually, and then when I didn't run again for uh, for office in 2000, 
uh, Schwann's, the food company, hired me and took me from my beloved Coeur d'Alene to southwest Minnesota. And uh, it was a great job. It was a wonderful job. After the recession of 2008, 2007, 2008, my, my job there went away. I ended up working in nonprofits. I worked in chambers of commerce. And for a time, I, I ran a foundation for a Catholic uh, hospital in Minnesota. And enjoyed that. In fact, that was when I was being received into the church in 2014. Uh, I did that, and then eventually doing uh, economic development over in uh, Wausau, Wisconsin. That's where I retired from one year ago this evening. Uh, I have had the opportunity to see the very first episode on the YouTube channel, and it's just it's beautifully shot, <laughs> and it's very well put together. And you say we because your wife helps you with this project. Yeah, Sandy does. Uh, everything's a we, uh, especially when you live in that uh, small of a you know two hundred and forty square feet uh, motorhome. Uh, everything's Good morning, we. Sandy. <laughs> and she Good hasn't morning. dropped you off at a rest area yet, so. Yeah, well, if she ever learns how to, if she ever agrees to learn how to drive the motorhome, then I'll pay more attention. But so far, <laughs> we've made it out together. I, I literally could not do it without her. The best ideas I've come up with were hers, and I took credit for. <laughs> so we, we hold ourselves as a lay apostolate which means we hold ourselves to a higher authority than us, uh, normally clergy. And the clergy we hold ourselves to is the pastor or the head of the parish, or, uh, for instance, the monastery here. We hold it up to Father Dominic there that nothing goes live to the public until the pastor or the head or the person they designate approves it. Um, our whole intention is to celebrate the Catholic Church and to hold it up and, and, and to show it to other people, and hopefully they'll find their way home yeah. as well. So you've already shot some... A program at the monastery. We 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 actually stayed there for about two and a half weeks. We had so our, you've oh, wow. been there for a while. Okay, yeah. we were there we, for the ordination. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. During the uh, um, the Vespers week and ordination week, and then uh, for two weeks, and then we went up two and a half weeks, and then we went up to McCall, Cascade, and Riggins last weekend and shot those three uh, par- filmed at those three videoed at those three parishes. Uh, we're uh, filming this weekend at. Uh, starting yesterday through Sunday at uh, Risen Christ Parish. Nice. And then uh, Monday morning we'll get up and head north via Oregon and Washington, head up to Coeur d'Alene and land back up there. Uh, We have one episode scheduled for there and then uh, down to uh, Cottonwood. The last uh, uh, episode we'll do there is on the Tri-Parish community up Mm. up in Cottonwood. Um, I'm told that... uh, Cottonwood is the headwaters of priestly vocations in the state of Idaho, and so it's the little Rome of the West, is what yeah. we've been told. So I'm over excited the years. about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is good. So you said that you have come, you came into the church later in your life. Yeah. Could you give us kind of the short version of that? Yeah, well, I was raised Churches of Christ. Wonderful, uh, wonderful, wonderful people. Most of my family is still Churches of Christ. Uh, I love it. They they brought me up in the Word and brought me up in the love of the Lord. Uh, and speaking of love, I met Sandy, fell in love with her, and she was Lutheran. I became Lutheran. I was Lutheran for about 30 years. Um, then uh, I got a job in Louisiana, and uh, this is the Reader's Digest version of this. Job in Louisiana, about 70% of the community, about 80% of my board of directors were Roman Catholic, so I said, I better learn something about this faith. And started reading, listened to a lot of Ave Maria radio, and listened to a lot of uh, uh, Catholic TV, and... Uh, at one point, I heard a gentleman by the name of Bruce Sullivan uh, ask me, uh, or on a radio program once, talking about uh, his conversion, his his journey to the Catholic Church. Bruce was a former Church of Christ minister. Wow. So when he talked, my ear was yeah. attuned to right. the terminology he used and the phraseology. Right. At one point in the interview, I thought I heard uh, the interviewer ask, what, what was the final reason why you decided on the Catholic faith? And I thought I heard him say uh, that he had decided if the Catholic Church is the church that Christ established on Peter, why wouldn't I want to be a member of that church? Mm. And that just stuck to me like glue. And found about three weeks later, on a Monday morning, I was heading heading to work, and I remember where I was on the road. I go, stunned. I believe it. This wow. is the church that Jesus established on Peter. Wonderful, wonderful way for God to get past my bulletproof Church of Christ theology. Uh, Because once I walked through that little door, believing this is the church, the the true church, all the other challenges that came along as far as theology goes, um, there were still challenges. But I I always go back to that little door and say, this is the church. 
that Christ established on Peter. So you're wrong, Gordon. Listen to them and learn <laughs> kind of thing. And over the years, the hard wiring I had is, has uh, softened considerably. Um, and, and I'm just very happy to be here. And what was the most unique or, or one that made you laugh the most is actually what I'm most curious. About. <laughs> um, you know, there's there's uh, there's just joyfulness in all of them that we go to. I think the most unique was a parish in Springfield, Missouri, uh, that's run by Claritian missionaries. Uh, they were unique uh, because they they have two or three different language services there. Um, the Spanish speaking being the biggest non English one, but they serve. 25 or 27 people from 25 to 27 different countries that come in there and it's just amazing um then i got to boise and we filmed an episode at our lady of the rosary and uh deacon lou over there was kind of like on diversity he's like hold my beer and come and film our swahili mass yeah (laughs) i've been to that mass it's awesome awesome. talk about beautiful yeah that'd be it yes it's the epitome of joy it's, it's like the Mass, you just sort of grin through the whole thing because there's so much joy. Oh Great. We are going to post that on our social media so you can check it out, but it is pretty easy to find on YouTube, and uh, you're definitely going to want to take a look at these incredible videos, very inspirational. The church is universal, and it's just great to see these, these small towns, uh, you know, the, the Bible belts, and just all these... There you have it, our stop at Salt and Light Radio and our visit with Hope Ryan and Brian Howell. Please support local and regional Catholic radio ministries in your area. Please also click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Most importantly, please pray for us and please know that we are praying for you. God bless you.